Olive is an ostrich. She lives with her family in the outback. But Olive is very different. Olive's dad loves to run. Olive isn't a fast runner. Olive's mum enjoys laying huge eggs. Hmm. Olive doesn't like the look of that at all. Olive's little brother pecks at the ground to find tasty roots to eat. Pecking at the ground makes Olive sneeze. But Olive has an incredible imagination. So while the rest of her family are running, pecking and laying eggs, Olive can be found imagining herself going on amazing adventures when she buries her head down, down, into the sand. until she popped up somewhere new. Olive was standing in a clearing surrounded by tall trees. She could hear someone bouncing up and down behind a tree, so popped her head round to see who it was. Hello! I'm Olive! Who are you? Asked Olive. I'm the juicy, juicy, red-bottomed monkey. He replied. That's an unusual name. Well, let me explain. I'm the juicy, juicy monkey, the juicy, juicy monkey. Knees bent, jump up, grab the juicy fruit. I'm the juicy, juicy monkey, the juicy, juicy monkey. Knees bent, jump down, roll it down the chute. It falls in here and you shake it all about. Ha ha, you turn your little handle and the juice comes out. I'm the juicy, juicy monkey, the juicy, juicy monkey. Drink it up and shake my bottom all about. Song, but I still don't understand what you're doing. I'm making juicy fruit smoothies, of course. OK, but you didn't actually have any fruit, so that made the rest of the song a little bit pointless. Oh, but that's exactly the point. I have no fruit. I've picked all the fruit I can reach. The rest is way up high. Too high for me. Can you climb up the tree and get the fruit? Oh, please. I'm a red-bottomed monkey, not a climbing monkey. Anyway, these trees have prickles and my paws are very delicate. Olive looked around the clearing and spotted the long shoot. Hmm, a shoot? Lots of fruit a monkey can't reach. I think I may have an idea. We can use the shoot to poke down the fruit. Uh, I'm not sure that's a good idea. But Olive wasn't listening and started poking the shoot high up into the branches. <laughs> she poked again. <laughs> Funny sounding fruit. That's not a fruit. That's a juicy, juicy red bottom fruit bat. As Olive pulled the shoot out of the leaves, she could see the bat was perched right on the end. He was wearing thick spectacles. Who's that poking my tree? Asked the juicy, juicy bat. I'm Olive. Sorry for poking you, but I was just trying to knock down the fruit from the top branches to make juicy fruit smoothies. Oh, I love juicy smoothies. Maybe I can help. I could pick the fruit and throw it down, but since I can't see very well, the fruit would go everywhere, and that's no good at all. Olive looked at the bat, the shoot, the smoothie maker, and the fruit high in the trees. Gag! I think I may have another idea. Juicy, juicy bat, fly up with this chute. Roll the fruit down the chute and we'll run underneath with the smoothie maker catching it all. And off they went. The plan was going beautifully. Juicy bat was picking the fruit and rolling it down the chute. But Olive was concentrating so hard on catching all the fruit that she tripped. The smoothie maker flipped in the air and all the fruit landed splat on her head. <laughs> What's so funny? I'm covered in squashed fruit and there isn't any left for the smoothie. Oh, never mind the smoothie. We can always collect more. You look hilarious. And now you're officially a juicy, juicy ostrich. See, you've even got a red bottom. <laughs> Olive looked around at her bottom. The berries she landed on had made it all red with juice. They all sang the song. She's the juicy, juicy ostrich, the juicy, juicy ostrich. She tripped up an hour, but I'm juicy too. <laughs> they all laughed, and as they did, Olive realised it was time to go. Oh, typical Olive, daydreaming again, said her mum. Gag! Actually, I helped a juicy monkey collect fruit. Your head's been in the sand too long, dear, said Olive's dad. Her little brother laughed. <laughs> but Olive wasn't listening. She was already dreaming of her next big adventure. <laughs> <laughs>